We live at the bottom of an ocean of air. Currents in this ocean move masses of gas around and this movement creates the weather we experience every day. Most of the gas is diatomic nitrogen and oxygen with small amounts of argon, helium, carbon dioxide, and other trace gases mixed with varying amounts of water vapor. All of these gas particles have mass and are pulled towards the earth by gravity. The weight of the particles in a column of gas above each of us applies a force that we experience as atmospheric pressure, which is simply the weight of the column of gas above a specific area. Air pressure is greatest at the ground and decreases with altitude, both because of the column of air gets shorter with increasing altitude and the density of the gas particles decrease with altitude, meaning there are less gas particles per unit volume at high altitude compared to ground level. As individual gas particles warm, they take up more space, causing the gas to be less dense. Water vapor also decreases the density of air, so increasing water vapor in the atmosphere decreases atmospheric pressure. As air gets warmer and gains water vapor, atmospheric pressure decreases. Warm, wet air is less dense than cool, dry air. And atmospheric pressure decreases as gas in the atmosphere warms and as humidity increases. Atmospheric pressure increases as gas in the atmosphere cools and loses water vapor to precipitation. Uneven heating and varying amounts of water vapor in the atmosphere results in regions of high and low pressure. These pressure differentials cause air to move along the ground from regions of high pressure to regions of lower pressure. We experience these air currents as wind. The force driving the currents caused by differences in pressure between two regions is called pressure gradient force. Air masses moved by pressure gradient force transfer heat by convection as cooler gas particles move into regions containing warmer gas particles. This is similar to the smaller, more contained convection cycles present in a room heated from one side, where warm air rises from a heat source, moves across the ceiling, cooling as it goes. Once cooled, it sinks and the cool air returns along the ground towards the heat source. Although it is not as simple in the atmosphere because the system is more open, so the rising and falling air masses cause movement in many directions. The movement of air up around regions of low pressure cause air masses to converge near the ground and diverge high up in the troposphere. The opposite happens around regions of high pressure where air currents diverge near the ground and converge in the upper atmosphere. Because we live on a rotating planet, wind does not blow in straight lines directly between regions of high and low pressure. Actual wind direction is determined by how air movements driven by pressure gradient forces are deflected by the Coriolis effect.